Okay, boys and girls. I had you reread pages 346 to 348 in the story, Two Bear Cubs. So now we're going to discuss some of the literary elements in the story, in our drama. So literary elements are the pieces that make up a story. The main literary elements in a story are the characters, the setting, the plot, which includes the conflict and the resolution and the events. So the conflict is the problem in the story and the resolution is how the conflict or the problem is solved. So let's talk a little bit about that right now, boys and girls. So let's answer the questions that we have. So we've read 346 or we've reread 346 to 348. So let's kind of talk about that right now, boys and girls. So, could somebody tell me what happened to the setting when the bear cubs fall asleep? What happens? Yes, Ethan, what happens? So, their mother said um, not to go down the river because strange things happen there. Yes. And when, uh, when, uh, when a stone appeared, and um, but the old, younger brother, or the older brother, wanted to go um, down the river. Yes. And, um, and but the, old, the, younger, the, uh, the, the younger brother, he wanted to take a nap because his hot son and his dog, because his dog was full. So then when they took a nap on the, on the um, mountain, and it got bigger and higher and bigger. Yes. So the small stone turned into a big mountain. It turned into a big mountain. So that's what happens to the that's what happened to the setting. So let's write that. A small stone turns to a mountain and the and lifts the cubs into the air. Exactly what happened. So thank you. You really knew what happened there, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Good job. So a small stone. Small stone turns into a big mountain and lifts the bear cubs. Okay, now you kind of answered the next question as well, but we'll re-answer it. Okay, I still see some pencils. So we'll wait till everyone's done. Now, boys and girls, what did the Cubs do in scene one that helps cause the change in scene two? What did they do? Yes, Anastasia. Yes, that, that is what happened, but what did they do in scene one that caused that to happen? What did they do? What did they do that caused that whole situation? Alisa. Okay, so they had, had to take a nap, yes. They went down the river. They went down the river. What else did they do? They did something else that caused them to do that. Thomas? Okay, they ate the berries, but something else happened. Juliana? They disobeyed their mother. They disobeyed their mother. No, 
that's right they disobeyed their mother they disobey mother grizzly and they go to they went down river which is where what kind of things happen what kind of things happen logan strange things they call it strange things they call it strange things we'll call it strange things so they disobey They disobey Mother Grizzly. Oh, there's no E in Grizzly. Sorry, boys and girls. It didn't look right right after I wrote it. Mother Grizzly and go to the place. something very strange happened to them. So strange things happen there. The strangest things. Yes, Clark? Go to the place to what? No, they go there. Because the story is taking place in present time, we're saying. So they go to the place. Now, what conflict or problem does this cause for Mother Grizzly? Because there's a big problem now. Poor Mother Grizzly, now she's got a problem. What problem does she have, boys and girls? Oh my, everybody seems to know the problem Mother Grizzly has. What problem does she have? What problem does she have? Rocco? Um, I need some boy to help me. Oh. Who's gonna help Rocco? Oh, lots of people know. What problem does she have? What problem does she have? Ivy, what problem does she have? She can't find, the problem is she can't find her children. Yeah, she can't find her cubs. Mother Grizzly can't find her cubs. Yeah. And because where are the cubs? Yanni, where are the cubs? They're on top of the mountain. Yes, they're on top of the mountain. And none of the animals can climb up the Yes. Well, we're not that far in the story, but yes. The cubs are on top of a mountain, are on top of a mountain, and she cannot find them. That is a very big problem, especially because yesterday we looked up a picture of what that mountain actually looks like in real life. And it was a very, very large mountain, wasn't it, boys and girls? Yes, yes. You have more, oh, we have more. Okay, where's our next question? And it says, answer these questions about 353 to 355. So we have more questions. So let's keep going. Okay, so now we're on page, so we had to go and we had to do 353 to 355. Yeah, it has not, um, 353 has got, it looks like, oh yes, it's got a picture of our friend, the worm on it, the two pack on it. So let's look. So can I, did everybody copy this? Can I keep moving? Okay, so 
now here's our next question. Who is finally able to resolve Mother Bear's problem? Who can solve her problem? Oh, I can only call on somebody who's quiet. Who can solve her problem? The measure, yes, the interim, the measuring worm, I think they call it. The measuring worm. So let's, this is question number four. Measuring worm does. Measuring worm. Boys and girls, here's the last question. So now we have to answer the question. How does measuring worm succeed when the other animals fail? What does he do that's different from the other animals? What do you think, Hetty? When he, when he um, gets scared, he finds his courage. Yes, he finds his courage. That's very good. I like that answer. He finds his courage. What else? Yes. He says to talk and Yes. Yes, he does that. What else does he do? Who else has something for me? Anastasia. Um, he, he goes even when he's afraid because he thinks about the bears have all alone and the top and he will get down and he down. That's right. He keeps going. He keeps going. Yes. And then he climbs up the mountain like any other like, animal does it. That's right. That's right. Elisa, what do you have to add? He, went higher than mountain lion. Yes, he did. Libby, do you have something to add? Um, Clark, do you have something to add? He just really climbs and kind of like, like, look at his own way of like, falling off the mountain. Well, that was his method of climbing, right? So he had his own unique way. Juliana? He doesn't give up. He doesn't give up. Very good. He does not give up. You're right. So I'm going to take kind of what you all said and we'll add, put it together in a few short sentences. He does not give up. He does not give up. He finds his courage. That's the word that I think maybe would fit what um, somebody over there was saying. He finds his courage. A few people said that. He finds his courage. And he helps the cubs find theirs. I think somebody said that too. which they would certainly need to climb down that large mountain because it's very big. We looked up a picture of it in real life, El Capitan, which is very, very large. Yes. Now, so boys and girls, you may put this in your folder when you're done, done copying it. Good job, everyone. You did a great job with all of our literary elements.